When Final Fantasy XV director Hajime Tabata first revealed that he was leaving Square Enix last October to start his own game company, we were all wondering what his next project would be. He left stating that he wanted to develop a type of game that he simply couldn't at Square Enix. This sounded pretty odd as Square Enix gave him his own game studio in the form of Luminous Productions, a pretty decent sized budget and essentially the freedom to create whatever he wanted to. Since then, he's formed his own company called GP Games, and just recently they announced their new game, and it's something I would have never saw coming. Tapata's new project is actually a sports game called The Pegasus Dream Tour, but it's not just any sports game. With the Olympics coming to Japan in the year of 2020, JP Games has taken the initiative to create the first Paralympics game, and it's something that the team is actually working with the International Paralympics Committee to create. Despite working together on the project, The Pegasus Dream Tour does not aim to be a realistic depiction of the event, but rather the Paralympic Games will be set in a fantasy metropolis called Pegasus City, where virtual athletes with special abilities are dubbed Extra Power. Tabata commented on the game by saying, quote, This is not an ordinary video game about sports. JP Games is going to fully represent the wonders that are unique to the Paralympic sports in this brand new role-playing game, a genre we excel in. With this video game, we want to contribute the future growth to the Paralympic Games, not just as a sport event, but as entertainment as well, with contents that we hope will have lasting value in the future. The president of the International Paralympics Committee added in by saying, quote, The sport at the Paralympics is outstanding and helps transform attitudes toward persons with disabilities like no other event. I am really excited to see and play this game and see how the outstanding abilities of para-athletes are represented. With the Paralympics being held alongside the Olympics in 2020, the game is set to build an audience leading into the event although no specific release date was given. In terms of where you'll be able to play it, it's said it'll be made available on various platforms, including smartphones. This project strikes me as an incredibly noble one of Tabata to take on, empowering a group of people that many game developers would not prioritize, and especially to take this on as the first project for his company. Honestly, it makes me wonder what inspired him to take on this project in the first place. In either case, this is an amazing step forward for him and his company. Though I know what many of you are thinking in the back of your head. Is is Hajime Tabata and his new company, JP Games, going to make anything in the way of traditional JRPGs? It remains to be seen and currently there isn't any comment on whether this will continue to be the direction of the company or whether it's just this one project. In either case, I'm excited for the future of this project as well as any other project that Hajime Tabata may have in store for us. I personally think that this new game, The Pegasus Dream Tour, should be a super impactful game that will leave a positive first impression for JP Games. It'll do a lot of great things like draw positive attention toward para-athletes, as well as most likely get GP Games some much-needed funding to start up the company. So all around, it's a win-win. The Pegasus Dream Tour should be a super impactful game that will leave a very positive first impression for GP Games, and should be a less stressful project for Hajime Tapata, who practically worked himself to death to finish Final Fantasy XV. I'll never forget that video where he came on to announce XV's delay, and the man just looks so tired. I mean, he literally looked like the soul had just been drained out of him. This project seems much smaller and much more at a comfortable scale for him, especially if a small company like JP Games is going to be able to put this together and ship it within a year. So I'm really happy with Tabata and I'm glad to see that he's doing something really positive. So Ultima Weapons, will you be checking out the Pegasus Dream Tour? Do you plan to support it from a distance while secretly hoping that Hajime Tabata's company eventually makes some traditional JRPGs? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know your comments below. And if you've been enjoying my content on YouTube, be sure to check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the night sky prince. That's right, you can watch me play all these amazing games now and hopefully not fail at them. It's going to be one heck of a ride. Link in the description below. Today's Patreon shoutout goes out to Devante Wesley. Shout out to them and the rest of the Ultima community.